So Lord asked the question, I've got an i7 4790K and a GTX 1080 Ti. Looking at upgrading the CPU, gaming, recording, and streaming. And the question is, what do you buy? What do you upgrade to? Is the i9 10850K 10 core 20 thread 10th gen chip worth the money? Or should he wait for new CPUs? The 11th gen is coming next year pretty soon. And of course, 12th gen, not too far after that. That is a great question. And the answer is very much going to be, it depends. Now, the question doesn't have all the details about resolution and specifically what games are being played. So I'll give a couple of different answers here. First of all, the GTX 1080 Ti is a great card. And if you bought it at launch and you own it today, while it's obviously worth less than what you paid for it, you've gotten great value out of it. It still has great performance today, but it would not really be an appropriate card to install on a $500 10 core 20 thread 5.2 gigahertz chip like the i9 1098. The i9 10850. Intel. Hi, Intel guy. Your product numbers are terrible, but you know, your CPUs are amazing. So, um, the i9 10850K, thank you. You would want to put an RTX 3080 on that. And if you wanted to maybe bide your time to see if 3080 Supers or 3080 Ti's come out, I understand. Maybe you keep your 1080 Ti just to, to wait for a 3080 Ti. But so long as you mentally have made the decision, when that comes, I'll make the jump. Okay, you could tide yourself over. On the flip side, your i7 4790K is a great CPU that still runs games well today, and a 1080 Ti is an excellent combination. Consider possibly keeping that as a computer. Don't break it up. The combination of the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, because you got DDR3, yep. and the graphics card is a great combo. Either sell it as a working machine, mm -hmm. keep it as a backup computer, never hurts, spare. maybe you want a spare computer. Uh, you talk about streaming and recording yeah. games, maybe you want a two computer setup. Now, may not have room for it, but if you do- Well, he could use that as a streaming computer. He could use that as a stream, you could do all, you could run OBS with a uh, inexpensive $100 capture card, and you could have the 1080 Ti handle the encoding and the CPU and, and you could have chat and everything on a separate computer yeah. so that your new computer is 100% gaming and it's not multitasking or doing anything. That's a possibility. Or maybe you have a niece, nephew, uncle, cousin, brother, sister, aunt, whatever, who needs a cool computer and that's always an option. As far as the upcoming CPUs, rumors are the 11th gen Rocket Lake will actually be a regression to eight cores. The, the Rocket Lake is a new architecture yep. with a higher instruction per clock cycle. We're finally leaving the Sky Lake architecture, mm. but only eight cores instead of 10. Ten. I've seen multiple places where they're saying they're not going to be doing a 10 core follow-up chip. Too hot. Yeah, it's just too much. So are you okay to go to that? Or do you wait for the 11th gen, which is called Alder Lake? 12th gen. What did I say? 11. <laughs> See, this is what I have her here for, because otherwise I'd just get completely lost. Mm -hmm. The 12th Gen Alder Lake. With the big little. Big little. It's on LGA. 1700. LGA 1700. And that is going to have 16 cores and 32 threads. But that's probably 18 months away at this point. Yeah. I don't think you want to wait that long. No. I mean, you can wait, but you're always waiting. Yeah. There's always something coming. So if I were looking at buying today an i9-10850K with a RTX 3080 would be a really nice machine to build today as a full-up new machine. And you really probably do need a new machine because yeah. you probably don't have a nice NVMe boot drive. Okay. You, you need new RAM regardless because you need DDR4. You might need a new power supply. It's a new computer, man. It's not an upgrade. I mean, you can, but you're going to end up with a lot of leftover parts that you got to deal with as opposed to you currently have a working machine with a clean install of Windows in your old machine set up for streaming and a new one. Sweet. 